So we are here today at Blue Springs State Park in Florida. I want to thank my friend Tom from Camp Travel and Explorer for giving us a shout out regarding this location. And here's your clue, 512. These manatees are sometimes called sea cows. And they grow up to nine feet long and weigh over a thousand pounds. Since the park was established in 1970, the number of wintering manatees has continued to increase. So one of the volunteers was saying to us that the manatee like to hang out in this spring area because the water is a consistent 72 degrees. So in the winter time, the water out further out gets cooler, so they like to stay in here where it's a consistent 72 degrees. Winter activities at the park are suspended from November all the way to March during the manatee season because the manatees are seeking water above 68 degrees. There's a camera in the water here. Could uh, someone get the net? Yeah, the park staff was not too happy with this guy when he was seeking to video record the manatees underwater with his homemade GoPro extension device. Thank you very much. So, you know, thank thanks for getting it for me. Yes, sir. Here's my best manatee experience. This was back in 2020, some 300 miles south in Florida at Everglades National Park when this gentle giant approached me at the dock. How are you enjoying that sun over there? The sun feels good. <laughs> it's really cool to be able to come here. Um, we weren't expecting to be able to do this, to come to a place that over 500 manatees hang out in the winter. It's pretty special and um, didn't realize that we were so fortunate to get here early enough to get in the parking lot to be able to get a view of them. But they're really fascinating creatures, so big and playful and curious themselves. So it's a really special treat to be able to come here. Yeah, and as Julie said, this place fills up really quick. It opens up at eight o'clock and they judge it based upon the number of parking places that they have available. When the parking places are full, then it becomes a different ratio that they allow in. As people leave, new people are permitted to enter the park. But by 9.45 or so, we were talking to one of the volunteers. We heard over his walkie-talkie that this place was already filling up and reaching its capacity. So the boardwalk comes out quite a ways. It'll take you all the way to the head of the spring itself. Most of the manatee I hear like to congregate by the spring. Today, there were none there, but it's still a beautiful walk if you come all the way to the end of this boardwalk. All right, so we are, oh, we got some breeze blowing on us here. Uh, about two hours we spent here Definitely enough time to see the manatees. I think a lot of them are actually heading out now to the St. John's River. Um, if you have Polaroid sunglasses, you can see them a lot better than just with your natural eyesight. But uh, fun time here. I think we're gonna head out, give someone else our parking place. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. Hope you enjoyed this short video. And remember, always room for you and every national park adventure. <laughs>